Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a makeup tutorial for you guys on this eye look that you see right here using the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette. Um, sorry, I know like I'm kind of late to the game with this palette. I know it's been out for a little bit, um, but I've been sick and I actually just picked it up when I was on vacation like a week and a half ago. So that's why it's just now going up and this is one of the newer palettes that I've recently added to my collection. I've been kind of slowing it down and just trying to use up what I have and I want to film more tutorials on like older favorite palettes and things of that nature. Please be sure and subscribe to my channel and we'll go ahead and get started with a tutorial. Alright, so I did go ahead and set my eye. I used a eyeshadow primer. And then I did set it with some translucent powder. For today's eye look, I'm going to use the Dose of Colors Blushing Berries palette. I picked this up when I was in Florida at Ulta. And I've been dying to get my hands on it. I have their Marvelous Mauves and the brown um, little pan palettes. And then I have some of their other stuff. But... I did not pick up Sassy Sienna just because that one did not personally speak to me. Um, I'm not like huge on peach colors for me personally, but I do love berries and those kinds of shades. So, first I'm just going to work in my crease. I'm going to pick up my Morphe M433 brush and I am going to dip into the shade Roseberry. It's this one right here. I'm going to start with this because I'm thinking I want to put that first shade all over my lid. But I'm going to do that after I work in my crease. So I didn't do my foundation first, I'm sure as you can tell. Just because sometimes these palettes do like have a little bit of fallout. But they blend out like a dream. And they're just so pigmented. And I love these Dose of Colors um, 5 Pan palettes. They're really nice. So right now I'm just working in my crease and blending it higher and lower onto my lid as my starting point. Alright, next I'm going to take that exact same brush and I'm going to go with the shade Berry Pop. It's this one in the middle. And these actually don't have as much like kickback in the pan as my Marvelous Mauves and that brown one do. But they still perform really great on the eyes. Another reason I didn't put all my foundations if I want to clean up right here because I'm not sure entirely what I'm going to do yet. I usually just wing my makeup like every day. Especially lately because this and the new Viseart Trist palette that I already did a tutorial with are my only new palettes. So I want to start like using my older palettes and doing like the Throwback Thursdays because I feel like people like other channels like big channels all they do is just show new products now you'll get like one tutorial with it and then that's it and i'm sure people have these palettes now because they go out and buy them and now they don't know what to do with them or they need some like inspiration so it's kind of what i want to do more of on my channel and then also i've been thinking about doing a dupe video for the modern renaissance it's a drugstore dupe for five dollars from wet n wild i've been testing that wet n wild palette out over the last couple days and so far I actually really like it. Alright, next I'm going to go with this like tapered Morphe brush. It's from that Copper Dream set. I really, like it doesn't have a name or anything. Um, but I'm going to go in with this shade right here called Mixed Berries next. This one has more kickback like I remember these palettes to have. So I'm just going to pack this in the outer third of my eye to give it some definition. This would also be really pretty all over the lid, honestly. Um, I'll put the other color that I was thinking on first, and if I don't like it as much, then I'll, gonna, I'll go in with this and do that instead. But the color is really pretty. Alright, so I know right now it looks like messy on the edges, so that's one of the reasons why I didn't do my foundation yet, so I can clean it up. Um, I am going to try this one all over my lid. It's called Berry Chic that lightest one in the palette. I'm starting with my Morphe E22 just so I can kind of pack it on quicker. Alright, I'm going to go back in with that tapered brush and dip into that mixed berry shade again. Alright, 
So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and take a makeup wipe. And kind of sweep that like, under my eyes and stuff to clean it up. Cause I know right now it is kind of crazy. There really isn't much fall under my eyes, so that's good. Could probably do this after foundation if I would have been like neater with my like applying before. Now I'm just gonna take a clean brush, if I can find the one I'm looking for, my Morphe M411, and just with no product on it, just kind of do this. My shoulder promotions above everything. Just kind of make sure it's all blended. Right, so that's what we have so far. Next, I'm gonna go in with some NYX Matte Liquid Liner and just line my lids real quick. This is my favorite eyeliner, but I do hate their new packaging because I feel like it's harder to get out and it splatters. And I've ruined one of my brand new white shirts by doing that, so that kind of irritates the crap out of me. That way actually turned out really pretty good for not having done one in a while. Usually it takes me a lot longer. My mom's spending so much time on it because as soon as I put on lashes, you won't see like half of the stuff, but you know. Alright, next I'm going to go in with some mascara and I'm going to use my um, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara just because it's sitting right here. Alright, I'm going to go in with the House of Lashes lashes and style knockout. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apply these off camera. <laughs> because it will save me a little bit of time and you guys have seen me put on false lashes in other tutorials and I even have videos about it. So when I come back, I'll look a little bit better. All right, so I went ahead and just finished the rest of my makeup because I realized I needed to just do my lower lash line. So that is what I went and did. So now I'm gonna go back in with this palette again and I'm gonna take my Morphe E18 brush and I am going to dip into this shade, the second one called Roseberry and I'm just gonna sweep this under my lower lash line. These are super, super pigmented. And then I'm gonna take this exact same brush and dip into the middle shade right here called Berry Pop and just sweep this right over top of what I just did. I'm gonna add some black liner. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs, I think it's like highlighter in black. Yeah, it's the highlighter gel crayon and I'm using the black shade. This is like my go-to liner pencil for my waterline. Okay, and because I want that black to kind of drop a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this like definer brush and go into um, berry black right here on the end. And I'm just gonna put this, I'm gonna tab off the excess first, but I'm gonna put this like right against my liner. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M411 and I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette called Berry Chic. It's this one right there. Just going to gently tap in and then I'm going to sweep this under all of that and kind of connect it to my wing. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara and pop this on my lower lash line. I kind of decide on a lipstick today because I kind of want it to be like monochromatic but also like not the exact same um but I kind of like this lip color I paired with it it is my Marc Jacobs Lemark lip cream in the shade Kate I believe this one is only available on the Marc Jacobs website but I love this shade every time I wear it I get so many compliments and these do actually dry down almost to like a matte finish after about an hour or two if you do not like, obviously don't eat or anything um until then all right and that completes this makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more tutorials and be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave i'd love to have you come back and 
join me for another video. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.